What's going on guys? This is the Game Hunter channel with another episode of Clash Royale and in this episode, well, you guys are probably familiar with this deck, right? It's the one that I was using during my Royal Giant episode and also during my live stream on YouTube Gaming uh, dedicated to the Ice Wizard. Well, this deck has been super successful, super successful. It's a nice counter deck and the more I play with the deck, the better I get. And that is actually what, this is one of the key things in um, Clash Royale, right? When you choose a deck, you, I mean, it's super difficult to just keep changing cards and try different decks because at the end you won't be able to get in your head what is the main strategy of the deck that you're using. In this case, I've been using this one for quite a while in my low level account and I'm getting so familiar with every single card that I know exactly when and which card I need to deploy on the arena. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you some of the closest the best, the greatest battles, the closest battles that I've been going through with this deck in the Royal Arena. Hope you guys are ready. It's gonna be epic. Let's go. All right, let's go to the Royal Arena for battle number one. Musketeer, Fire Spirit, Elixir Collector, and Knight. I'm going with uh, Minions, Ice Wizard, Fireball, and Royal Giant. Uh, even when I said before that this is a counter deck, I'm not gonna sit in my back just waiting for somebody to build an economy. So now we're gonna start pushing with the Ice Wizard, we're gonna start pushing with the minions and also with the Royal Giant to start this battle. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we have a spammer deck, interesting. This deck actually works really well against spammer decks because we have arrows, because we have this fireball, because we have the Valkyrie and also we have the Ice Wizard. There you go, Fireball taking care of the Barbarians. We're gonna try to use Sap to keep this Royal Giant alive for a few extra seconds and do as much damage as possible. Not bad at all, 658 hit points left in the tower in the top left corner of the screen. And we're gonna try to use the Ice Wizard to defend our base. This is tough, but between the Ice Wizard and those Goblins, we were able to take care of every single Archer Britney Spears and also Musketeer. Wow, okay, that was a tough one. Counter time. Valkyrie, Ice Wizard. Let's see what we can do. Are we gonna push forward? Hopefully nothing. Okay, well, somebody decided to deploy our bear. Wow, okay. Wow, I was surprised that they, they didn't receive absolutely no damage from my Valkyrie. And Fireball one more time controlling the fate of the game, fellas. Like I say, this deck is a, has some really good counters. Counters against Spammer decks, counter against some, um, let's see. There's many, ah, you know, I've been trying this one so many times. I get so many different decks. Uh, actually, defensive decks are also go down extremely fast against this one because of the range of the Royal Giant. Here comes the Royal Giant. Okay, this is something I wasn't expecting. Let's use the Valkyrie on defense. Still one minute to go, and things are not looking good for me. My tower in the bottom left corner is going to go down, and my Valkyrie is not going to be able or capable to stop that big group of units. Oh, here comes the <laughs> variants. Knight, Rini Spears, Ice Wizard to the rescue. Ice Wizard to the rescue. A lot of small units, but between the minions, between the Ice Wizard, we're still alive. Some goblins also providing some support. Let's start attacking from the right side. Ice Wizard is coming. The top left corner tower went down. And I think it's a good time for me to deploy also the Royal Giant. Right now we're going into the last 30 seconds of the match. So I need to do as much damage as possible. I need to deploy the Royal Giant as often as possible. And let's see how this battle is going to end. My Royal Giant is going down extremely fast because of the Barbarians. But at least I have my Ice Wizard. And those little minions are still holding the ground. That is just crazy. Wow, Royal Giant attacking me. Let's see. Goblins. Perfect. Between the Goblin and the Valkyrie, we were able to stay alive. Only one second to go. Let's go into overtime. One more time. Royal Giant deploy. Ice Wizard provided some support. I have my minions taking care of the Barbarians and also the Knight. And hopefully we'll be able to keep pushing forward. The Ice Wizard is still having fun in there. <laughs> Valkyrie. Ice Wizard, let's keep pushing. Almost 40 seconds to go. The game is still on reach. Oh, Fire Spirit. I haven't seen Fire Spirit until now. Fire Spirits are deadly, fellas. Super, super deadly. We're gonna do a special episode dedicated to the Fire Spirit because you can use those guys so well with the Hawk Rider, for example. Let's see if we can slow down those Barbarians. It's good to know that the Barbarians got deployed now because now I can deploy my Royal Giant with peace of mind. 
right? I know that the Barbarians are not going to get deployed right away. Okay, here comes the last Royal Giant. A couple of seconds left, only 10 seconds to go. So between the Royal Giant and my Fireball, I'm going to be able to finish this battle with only couple seconds to spare a really close battle really entertaining you need to control your deck you need to control your cards and know when to deploy the cards on the fighting field let's go for the next battle let's go for battle number two uh, my opponent is going with giant britney spears fireball musketeer a really simple deck really effective deck i'm going with arrows minions valkyrie and ice wizard let's see what's gonna happen I apparently Britney Spears are coming at any second. Nope, I guess it's Giant the one. I guess the Giant is the one. And again, this deck is so well balanced that I can counter, for example, Giant decks. With the Ice Wizard, the Ice Wizard, like I said before, is so, so useful. Look at this. We're going to use the Ice Wizard to slow down this guy. We can easily deploy Sap and the Valkyrie right now to take care of this area. But what about if we start countering my opponent, right? I can see that the Musketeer is attacking directly my Valkyrie, so I can start deploying the Royal Giant and do some damage to the tower in the top left corner. Mini Pekkas! Another card that you're going to see a lot in the game. A lot! Because the Mini Pekka is another Royal Giant killer. Little Goblins, come on! You can do it! Boom! <laughs> they die by like heroes like heroes they destroy the mini pekka and also the giant skeleton things are a little bit complicated right now um i'm still trying to take control of the game try to don't, don't don't get desperate in the game that's more important than anything we're gonna start attacking probably with the valkyrie and the ice wizard from the left side that combo works really really well and now we're gonna use also some minions to provide some air support giant is coming oh sap that's not good at all but again i got my wizard right there in position providing some support slowing down the giant fireball to destroy some of the Britney Spears because otherwise things can get super super ugly now things are looking kind of difficult for me but that's why I decided to deploy my goblins before the mini P.E.K.K.A reached the tower so I can distract him or distract her I still don't know if the mini P.E.K.K.A is a boy or a girl but that's something that we're gonna probably discuss in the commentary section of this video okay only one minute to go and uh, we kind of we kind of trouble man <laughs> we kind of trouble I can see we have another spammer deck in here Ice Wizard, Royal Giant, let's see if we can start pushing forward. Oof, that's a tough one, fellas. That's a tough one. Look at the group of Britney Spears and also Musketeer and the <laughs> Giant Skeleton moving forward. But we still were able to survive thanks to the Fireball, thanks to the Ice Wizard, and now with the Valkyrie. Valkyrie is going to go down. Ice Wizard is still providing such a valuable support on defense. It's not even funny. Mini Pekka is coming. I'm in trouble again. This battle really looks like it's completely, completely lost because my opponent keeps pushing me, right? But again, you need to get familiar with your cards, slow down, relax, and think which one's gonna be your next move. Right now, let's see if we start pushing forward with the Ice Wizard, with the Valkyrie, and also with those Goblins. Ah, uh, everything is gonna die. Oh, the Ice Wizard survived. That's good, that's good, that's good. So this is perfect for me to deploy the Royal Giant. And now we're gonna start doing some damage to the tower. The top left corner and the Royal Giant is so, so powerful. Look at all the damage I did. And also with the Firewall, we are so close to finish this battle. We are in super trouble. We're gonna go down in a few seconds if we don't do something. Arrows, and what about we finish this battle with Zap? right on time because the giant skeleton Britney Spears were getting so close to my tower that could be my end but we came back at the last second let's go for another battle let's go to the royal arena one more time with this special deck counter deck royal giant ice wizard deck Britney Spears attacking right away okay no problem I got my Valkyrie right there and now we can deploy the Ice Wizard right behind. Ooh, we have an Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower, it's super deadly against the Royal Giant. I'm working on a special episode, again, uh, dedicated to how to counter the Royal Giant. And trust me, the Inferno Tower is going to be there, fellas. Just stay tuned to the channel. A big group of Barbarians. We're going to slow these guys down with some Sap and also some Goblins. Things are not looking okay right now. i got a couple of Barbarians hitting my tower. A group of Britney Spears and also some Goblins by the Valkyrie. Valkyrie was able, so reliable, so useful against massive amount of troops. We're going to start pushing one more time with the Valkyrie and the Ice Wizard. Let's see if we can do some damage to that. Oh, one more time, Inferno Tower. Look at the Inferno Tower. The Inferno Tower is deathly. 
is deadly. Even the Ice Wizard goes down extremely, extremely fast. Okay, so now we need to be ultra patient. I'm not really sure how we're gonna attack this base. I was trying to use my Royal Giant, but I now, to, I now need to be super, super careful because, like I mentioned before, the Inferno Tower can bring down the Royal Giant super, super, super fast. Oh, here comes the Hog Rider with Sap combo. Well, the good thing is that those little minions were able to survive. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can do something about that Inferno Tower. Uh, the Inferno Tower is down. One little goblin is coming this way. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Valkyrie right there in the middle. Boom! Goodbye, Britney Spears. And now, one more time, we're pushing forward with the Valkyrie. And uh, right now, I don't know if I should deploy the Royal Giant. One more time, I got a little scare. I don't want to show all my cards uh, to my opponent because I like to keep some cards as a backup, right? As an ace. Something, something that I can use at the last second of the match and completely turn the match around. One more time, Hog Rider attacking kind of alone. I will probably use Hog Rider and Goblins. Don't Sending the Hog Rider alone is not really effective. And now we're going to start pushing forward because that uh, Inferno Tower is ready to go down and I have my combo ready. Fireball and Zap to take care of those barbarians. My Royal Giant was able to do some damage to that tower. Probably wasn't enough, but I still have two Ice Wizards. One Ice Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Only one Ice Wizard. The good thing about the Royal Giant that you can deploy this guy so many times when this is the last minute mark and it's so, so, so effective because all the damage it does is just ridiculous. Let's deploy the Royal Giant one more time. I think we are good. We can probably start targeting that Inferno Tower from distance and not getting hit. That is the most important part. Now I need the Ice Wizard and also Fireball to destroy those Barbarians. And look at this. This is one of the cool things about the Royal Giant. The Royal Giant has more range than the Bomber Tower and the Inferno Tower, also the Cannon. That's the function of the Royal Giant. Destroy, destroy defensive buildings. Victory Sour at the last second. One more time, we were saving the Royal Giant just to deliver the final punch. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, and stay tuned. A tournament is coming with prizes and everything. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.